Hello, we're live. Welcome to my studio. This is Devon Rex for Art. For those watching the replay, it's going to be a live video with people in chat that I'll be talking to. And I see a few people in chat already. I'm just going to open up my YouTube channel, turn off the volume. Oh, that's a nice video ad. Yucky. All right. So we have uh, Lady True North Jan and Lisa Mingus. Thanks for coming, gals. And uh, just gonna sit down here. I was just kind of running around with, with a, like a chicken with my head cut off, trying to get last minute preparations. How's everybody today? Hey, Shaz. Oh, it must be late for you. What time is it there, Shaz? Hi, Dawn. So you can see I went out today and I picked out some weeds. I like to keep them in a container so that if there's any little uh, creepy crawlies, hopefully they stay in there and not on my art space. I do try to kind of like peruse what I pick um, to make sure there's nothing like an ant or things like that. Hi, Tina. Tina from Sweden. Hi, hey, Robin. I missed your live this morning. I was a little bit late getting up and but I kind of caught up just as it was ending. <laughs> I loved your mark making as usual. So nice of you to come to my little humble stream. Welcome, welcome. 2 a.m. Shaz. Wow. Wow. And Lady Jan is on her way to the ferry. Oh, you're going to the mainland today. Hey Lena. We've got quite an international crew here today. Just having my coffee. I just I just down my protein shake. Oh, Robin, you're, that's just very sweet of you. Wow. So today what we're doing is I'm going to play with these masks from PM Artist Studios. I'm going to pull them out in a minute. Um, it's called the four, four Fanged Furry Forest Faces and a Fish. And I'm not going to use the fish today, I don't think, because I'm going to do more like forest um forest things um, to build on my forest, uh, magical forest journal, where I had, I did a flip through of this before, where I had these ladies that I did uh, botanicals with jelly um, image transfers, jelly plating botanicals, and some um, masks, like that one. So I'm going to do the same thing, attempt to do the same thing, um, just going to fast forward here to my other one. And try to do the same thing with um, with these forest critter, more like uh, mammals. These were more like insects and things. So I don't know if I have everything ready, but uh, hey, Barbara, and you're in the UK. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside, but not out of reach. I'm gonna grab those in a second. So the first one, so I pulled out some images that I thought might work with some of these masks. So the first one, I made mean, some little notes here, is this uh, wolf. And I thought it would be cool to make like a headdress for this lady. I'm going to bring you guys down just a little bit, I think. How's that? Is that too far down? Hi, Pam. Good to see you. So with this one, I thought I would do it all in one like I did the um, ladies with the um, insects. But I did bring out, where did I go? I did bring out this here. Uh, so I cut, um, this is a Canton XL mixed media paper that I cut down to, I think it's like just under 12 inches by 14 inches. So that folded down, it's it's going to fit in this journal. So we're going to just go for it. I don't know how I'm going to add it. Hey, Eddie, how are you? So I'm going to pull out my big jelly plate. This is the 12 by 14. Um, some of you guys might know Robin McClendon that's in chat. She was playing with her, was it a 16 by 20 plate, um, Robin? It was huge and it was amazing what she does on there. You guys should all know her. If you don't, you should definitely go check her out. A lot of things that I learned about jelly plating, I learned watching uh, Robin. So 
All right. So there's my big jelly plate. Hey, Lynn. Okay. So I'm kind of starting cold here. Yes, Robin said 16 by 20. So I'm actually going to tape that a little bit so that I can put it down in one piece. And just do that. Uh, actually, what I did with this insects is I just used this um, removable glue dots. So we're just going to get right into it because I've got like ugh, quite a few ideas I want to try. So I'm just going to put this under part of it, just break it in half. Just do a couple little spots here. Uh, maybe just one spot. That should do it. Hey, Becky Kalora. And then I'm going to line that up. I kind of want these to kind of be like her eyebrows. So do that. Is that pretty straight? Uh, it's a little crooked. That's the nice thing about these removable dots is you can adjust them. Hmm, that was crooked again. Maybe her face is crooked. Most people are not perfectly symmetrical. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go with that. Might not be perfect, but that's okay. All right, let's bring this back. All right, so um, just to show, this is not going to cover the full page, but I want to make sure I get the ears in there. So we're going to be, we'll just kind of do it over here. And what I'll do is I'm going to just kind of give myself a little mark where I want to at least bring the paint to. And then we're going to throw some botanicals down on the bottom. Those are going to be first. So I'm just going to plan those before I put my paint down. So these were just like a bunch of weeds. So I'm just kind of looking how it's going to look with her. So I think we'll just do that. We'll just keep it simple. We'll just put some little weeds down at the bottom. I think that should be adequate for this first one. All right, so let's do our paint. So we're going to be doing, like I said, an image transfer. And yes, we're doing the wolf first, Lynn. I don't have a roll off sheet ready. Uh, we're actually thinking about listing our house, so I have to put away a lot of my, um, I had to make my art room look like a normal person lives here. <laughs> so it's a lot uh, uh, tidier and uh, minimalist. Uh, I'm a minimalist in my house, but in my art room, I'm not a minimalist, but I had to make it look minimalistic because we're, like I said, we're thinking about listing our home. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this. Hi, Charmaine. Wagner Bell. Hmm. I feel like you might know someone that I know locally. Are you the niece of someone that I know, perhaps? I feel like I should know your name. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just a coincidence. All right, so you want this layer fairly thin and you really only have one shot at your image transfer. So I'm gonna put my botanicals down first and then here I'm gonna cross my fingers. I'm gonna put this down. Let me stand up for a second because I want those ears in here. And then I need a paper up there as well. Probably not. Oh, Cincinnati. Yeah, probably not. But Cincinnati is not in Canada. So I think not. And um, for image transfer, you don't want to leave it down too long. And this is a little wrinkly, so I don't know how this is going to look. Oh, she looks pretty good. Oh, she's got <laughs> going right through her face. I'm going to take that down. Well, actually, let's leave it. It's, you know. It is what it is. This is live, live streaming, folks. <laughs> She's sniffing. She's sniffing the weeds. That's hilarious. 
All right, now I'm going to hmm, put this over here. All right. So you can barely see her one eye. I'm just gonna bring this closer. You can kind of see her one eye peeking through there. I should have rubbed a bit harder over here, but you know what? It is what it is. Yes, Eddie, we can make it work. Work it. You better work. All right, and I'm gonna take this sticky off so I don't forget. I can always put it back on. Yes, she's hiding like a wolf. It's like that, that was the first music video I saw. It's Hungry Like the Wolf. I remember I was in elementary, no, uh, junior high. And uh, they um, they wheeled in that big TV. I'm just letting this dry. They wheeled in that big, huge TV, you know, on the wheels. And I don't know what class it was, social, I don't know. And then they, they played the music video, Hungry Like the Wolf, right there in Catholic school. It's quite... Uh, Quite interesting. Move that up a little bit. Wolf shifter. <laughs> oh, hi, Jennifer. She's just starting, um, and everything from magazine to laser prints have not worked. Hmm. I do have a video about um, magazine transfers. You can try. Um, yeah, if you, you know, just watch different YouTubes and see what works for you. Sometimes it has to do with like your environment, your humidity. I find this Liquitex Basic paint works for me. It's like not too thick, not too thin. Um, yeah. Yeah, Shaz, it was a fun memory. Would it help to lift a little around the eyes? Yeah, I could. I kind of like the dark eyelashes. I'm just going to leave it. I, that's fine. Now, initially, I was thinking maybe I would put some alcohol inks in the um, animal. But I think for this first one, we're just going to keep it simple. And I'm just going to do a pickup. We'll do an ombre. I'm just waiting for this to dry. So let's think about, and I don't I usually pre-plan my colors. So let's think about what colors. Now, the one thing is that in my um, forest journal, I am trying to keep a color scheme, um, like a fairly muted color scheme. And of course I didn't pick out any of those. So let's just kind of, and this doesn't have to go in here. Um, let's see, I'm trying to feel what colors, what colors am I feeling? Definitely something light on the top. I don't, not feeling blue. These original flowers were purple, but we don't have to keep them purple. Maybe, um, maybe some gold. We could put gold on the wolf and then tighten buff around maybe like a sunset. Oh, I'm all over the place here. Now I'm going to have to just, uh, ugh. I don't want to be constrained by the colors in his in here. So let's just see what happens. But I'm thinking gold for for that. And I just got this new PBO iridescent gold. So we'll do gold there. And maybe this uh, pastel green color shift down at the bottom. And now do we want do we want a realistic face color do you want like titanium or portrait pink the ready color purple maybe sorry i'm not watching chat like 100 percent. i'm doing my best but um it's so hard for me not to pull up my pan pastels. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm sorry. I'm going to pull up my pan pastels. I thought I would keep this first one simple, but uh, apparently not so. Apparently not so. All right, so let's grab. You know what? I'm just going to use this makeup because it was on the top. I'm going to use this gold here. 
And we're just gonna fill in the wolf. Hi, Dar. Hi, Lori. Now this gold isn't as brilliant as the um, pan pastel one, but you know what? That's okay. We're just gonna fill in a little bit because I really want um, this fella to pop. Should I just do the whole thing? Let's just do the whole thing. What the hey? The thing with the live stream is that you don't have a lot of time to think. Like I try not to pre-plan too much. Like I have my ideas of which masks I want to use with which faces and um, a few little fun ideas. I should have done his eyes, not gold, but it's too late. So we're just going to go with it. Hungry like the wolf. Hungry like the wolf. Duran Duran, what a blast from the past. So what is everyone else doing today? Everyone's having fun, I take it, lots of fun. Hello, Angela, nice to see you. Okay, let's give her, oh, we should do blue eyes, right? Like wolf blue eyes. That's good. And hey, let's, while we're here, do you want to do the flowers blue? Sure, we'll just put in a little bit of blue. What the heck? Some are leaves, some are flowers. Uh, I'm not gonna, whoops. Our blue here. I don't even know on here what is uh, what is flower. I'm not a botanist. This is not a botany channel. <laughs> I'm just random. Apparently, some of the leaves are blue too. All right, so we got that. So I would could use my pan pastels. It's a really bright gold, but I thought I'd just use this dollar store makeup since it was handy. And should we do? stencil in the back just to separate it. I don't have any stencils pulled. Something leafy. Yeah, this isn't quite leafy, but let's do that. Let's do some green. But I'm not going to do a uh, metallic green. I'll just do a We'll do a makeup green. Just, I feel too lazy to pull out my um, pan pastels. So this is dry, so I can readily um, just put this on top. I'm just gonna, I just wanna separate the background sort of from, from her. I'm curious to see how this is gonna turn out. Anybody else, anybody else curious? Add up just a little bit more here. Yeah, let's go over here. I'll keep it up top. Hi, Kathy Cowell. So, Lori, you've got some company this weekend. That's cool. And I'm just being a bit haphazard with, with this stuff. I just, I'm just really anxious to pull this. I want to see how it's going to turn out. Just a little bit down here. Hi, Ann Meeks. I hope I haven't missed anyone. If I have, my apologies. I am uh, endeavoring to get this pulled. Okay. So we're going to do color shift on the bottom. I'm going to turn it this, this way. So I'm going to do this here. I'm not going to do the gold because we have gold there. Let's do portrait pink here where her face is. And 
in the sky. Just do purple on the bottom and this on the top. There we go. We're going to do it. And then I'm going to pull it with this piece of paper. And I didn't pre-shake these because I didn't know what I was going to use. So shake, shake, shake. All right. Oh, little piece of flower here. Boop. That kind of blopped on there. And then we'll do this green. Oops. Green here. And let's do this portrait pink in the middle. Hi, Christina. All right. And we're going to do uh, Patricia's Peas Technique from PMR Studios. I'm going to do her technique for the ombre. We have it kind of staggered. I keep thinking I should probably buy um, an extra brayer. I only have three brayers. I have this this big one, and then I have a four inch, and then a two inch. I'm just going to return this this way to line this up. Now stand up. We're going to get those ears in there. And then we just have one chance to put it down. I think I went a little crooked. But that is okay. All right. Now I can reach out a bit while that's drying. Paint, girly, Lori, you are not a slug. <laughs> You're like so creative, so busy. Oh, I'm on top messages. I don't think there's that many that I need to worry about. Let's just go to all messages. There we go. So yesterday I posted a flip through of a collage uh, magazine, or not a magazine, collage book. Um, it's a pretty new one. It's similar to the Extraordinary Things to Cut on Collage, but it's slightly different if you want to check out that flip through. And I'm going to plug my own short. I did a short on making this little blue frog for the Pantone uh, color challenge or Pantone challenge. Hi, Safia. Did I say hi to you already, Safia? Oh, I don't remember. All right. Set that up. Let's take a peek. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think it worked. Oh, no, not quite. That wolf mask is still. Those cutout books are packed full of fun images. Yes. Yes, they are. Thanks, Lori. Yeah, remember to thumbs up. You have some coffee. So it's a beautiful day here today. It's 18 degrees uh, Celsius. I don't know what that is in uh, Fahrenheit. I should have like a conversion chart handy. So I assume everybody can hear me okay and see okay. All right. While that's uh, brewing, let me show you the next one I have planned. So I thought we could do a similar thing with this raccoon. We'll do like a, a headdress. And then I thought some of these might be cool as... Um, like a mask. So this I'll do in two, I'm planning to do this in two steps. I'll do the uh, transfer and the botanicals first, and then I'll probably stamp the mask on. That's my sort of plan so we can see her eyes there. And this, I wasn't sure what it, I thought it was like a wolf, but it's actually, I think it's a bear. I think that's a bear. Maybe we'll do that one next since it's a different um, technique than this one. And then I also have this one ready to go. We'll I'll do the, the, the image transfer, the botanicals first, and then we'll stamp on the mask and have her eyes like underneath this eye. This little mask lady. So, and then I have a few other ideas if we have time. Becky, you like that plan? 
Audio is good, excellent. All right, let's see if that mask is picking up now. Yeah, it's not quite, it's a little distressy. Is it too distressy? Mm. I'm going to do my little, I think I'm doing a matte medium trick where I put just a little matte medium because I want, this didn't pull up as well as the transfer, I think, because the paint was a bit thicker there. All right, let's just, I'm just going to smush this on because I want the eyes at least to be on there. So I'm just going to put just a thin layer. This is my little cheat. That's probably too much. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of smush that where the mask is. So the basically matte medium, most of you know, is basically like uh, clear acrylic paint. So it kind of acts like a glue. And I want that fairly even. Um, probably be better with like a paintbrush, but I'm just using my finger. But because the paint underneath is dry, it's not going to smudge it. So I'm just going to put that back down. I'm going to give it a good rub and then we have to let that sit a few more minutes. Well, thanks, Becky. I had fun with the frog. You know, when I was painting it, when I started, I thought, oh my gosh, what have I gotten into? I don't think I can do this. <laughs> But I just kept at it. And that's like um, Kathy Arbor says, like the good thing with acrylic is you just keep adding layers until you're happy with it, right? All right, so why don't we, let's do one of these other ones. We'll just do it um, on that eight by 10. Now I don't have as much surface area. Like I said, I kind of squished in everything. You guys want to do this one next? And we'll just do it on an 8x10 piece of cardstock. It may or may not make it uh, into the force book, but whatever. Okay, so, so I wrote my notes. I wrote, do transfer with botanicals, eyes inside the mask, then add animal by applying paint via the jelly plate or stamping from plate, picking up, yeah. So I'll have to reuse this to do the um, mask part. So we're gonna put this aside for now. We're gonna work on just the botanical and the lady. And to pick it up, I'm just gonna use this paper I got from the, I got it from like a used, like a secondhand store. And it's just, I don't know what it is. It feels like there's cotton in there, but I don't know. Okay, now, botanicals. Let's pick up our weeds. So what would look good with her? So we're gonna use those flowers and she's gonna be a bear, right? We could put like these little chives, perhaps. Oh, there's a bug. See, you gotta watch those critters. And uh, these are kind of fun, covered with a lipstick. These. And of course, I have to reverse it on the jelly plate. And then, yeah, that's okay. Let's just do that. I like to have three. So I have three of those, two of those, three of those. Yeah, it did interfere. I'm back. Sorry. Hopefully I'll come back. Sorry about that. The, my phone rang and it took over my phone there. Okay, so we're gonna do that that way. So I'll, let's do our transfer. Now, um, do we wanna use black for the transfer or do you wanna use like, I don't really wanna use brown. I use, could use purple. Let's just do black. I'm back, thanks Shaz. Yeah, it's just my phone. I film with my phone and um, someone was calling, so it, it overrided the video. Okay, so let's do black. I'm really loving this big eight inch brayer. I've uh, 
I must say. Now it's, again, you want to put that, make that fairly thin. Because you want to do the transfer. It's tricky because with the botanicals, you want quite a bit of paint. Whoopsie, my finger went in that end. Okay, so I'm going to do opposite. Do that. And then we'll put this in the middle. And these over on the side. I feel like it needs something there, but see, there's teeny tiny little bugs. You got to be careful with this stuff. All right, so I'm going to just smush that on. Hopefully, her face is going to be on there. Okay. Christina, yeah, it could be. It could be too much paint. And also, another common thing is people leave their page down too long. So you got to be careful of that. So she's pretty good. I could probably... Oh, it came off. So that's fine. We'll just do go with that. We can use a baby wipe to clean up her blemishes. But I like how her eyes pretty much turned out. And I'm just going to use a piece of paper right here. So I tried not to move the botanicals when I lifted that off. So I want to get those impressions on there. That one kind of fell off. Those kind of fell off the page. All right, let's take these off. And we're going to let that dry. I feel like I should have a separate bucket to put these used ones in so I don't have creepy crawlies. And then there we had something go across her lips. So let's take that. And then remember, we're going to be stamping the mask on here. So while that's drying, actually, I'm going to add a bit of texture down here. I wonder if I still have enough paint on here. No, I'm just going to roll on a little bit of um, a pattern using this foam stamp here. This is a PM Art Studio uh, foam stamp. There. And then you got to clean them off right away. Hey, Sherry, you made it. Thanks for replying to my community post, Sherry. That was very sweet of you. I appreciated that. All right, so let's put that aside to dry and let's pull out, uh, where did I put it? There we go. This one should be done. All right, let's see, did that. A little bit better, I think. Bye, Lori. Thanks for coming. So it didn't quite pick up everything, but much better than the first go around. So, and actually, I think the paint scheme is going to actually work with that fairy journal. So, so there she is. There's our wolf lady, our hungry like the wolf, with her little headdress and her little botanical she's like peeking through the forest maybe she's gonna eat that little leaf there <laughs> what do you guys think do you like that one I'll bring it up closer for a look hi mitzi i have a little sip of coffee i need a break Whew. all right one down, 10 to go. No, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's wipe this up. And a reminder, when you use makeup or pan pastels, it does stay on the plate. You can see it there. So you have to use some mineral oil or, or um, baby oil to get it off. Go 
gonna rub that in with my fingers. Hey, Chris. Chris, you missed our first pull. We did a little hungry like the wolf lady. There she is. And I used, did I use the, um, did I use the rose pink or did I use the titanium, unbleached titanium, bleh, unbleached titanium? I don't remember. It looks more like unbleached titanium. I thought I was going to use the rose pink. What happened? You guys didn't tell me I used the wrong paint. Or did I? I don't remember. That's one good thing about recording is that you can, you can look back at what you did and go, oh, okay, I did use the wrong paint. That's not what I meant to do. Or you have a happy accident and you're like, how did that happen? And you can review the footage, kind of like sports. All right, and I don't mind leaving the little edges because that actually is going to help me in the placement of the next one. All right. So we could do this one of two ways. We could pull this, let's pull this print and then we'll stamp on the um, bear using this eight by 10 plate. All right, so what colors? What colors? So her eye's not the best there, but you know what? It's gonna be hidden. How does I have it? Yeah, like that. So we're gonna add that. So when I pull the print, I'll have to put my paper up a little bit higher. So I have room for the ears. All right, I'm feeling kind of like pinkish with this lady. I don't know. Uh, where's my... Glowing peach. So Robin, I don't know if you're still here, but I just wanted to tell you that I won these Arteza iridescents. I won them from uh, Robin's giveaway. Hi, Sharon. All right, I'm gonna shake, shake, shake. Sharon, did you see the first one we did? We did that all in one step. You have to watch back. All right, so let's not overthink this. Let's just do pink and yellow. I'll do yellow on the bottom, pink on the top. Um, but you know what? I am gonna colorize those fronds. Haunts and fronds. Where did I put my makeup? Um, so I'm just going to use makeup. Like I said, I could use pan pastels, but I, um, this was handier. It just happened to be, uh, let's use this purple. No, let's use the pink. Let's use this pink here. Now I got this original idea about doing botanicals with image transfers from Diane Bell and um, you could check her out in Makers. She doesn't do videos, but she posts a lot of her cool prints um, in Makers, uh, the Facebook group. So you want to check her out. She does some really cool prints. Just adding just a little hint of that. And I'm feeling crazy. I just want to make sure that her her head sticks out or stands out. So I'm just going to add a little bit. Sorry, you can't see that. Add a little bit of just just a hint of this bluey purple. Now was that makeup? I don't really remember. And then we'll stamp on the um, the bear mask after we pulled it. I'm just gonna leave. Well, hmm. Should we give her an eye color? Perhaps we should do some green eyes. What the heck? We'll just do a little bit of green here. Okay.
Hello, Avanel. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you here. All right. I'm going to put that makeup away so I can find it again. All right. So this time I'm just going to pick it up just with yellow and pink. And we're going to do it this way, like so. And this thing is. I left this sitting, don't leave it sitting and with paint, clumps of paint, because then you're going to have those clumps when you use it the next time. So, okay, let's give these a shake. Yeah, I hope so. I should probably make her lips pink. Should we make her lips pink? We can always add that after if we, if we want to. All right, so I've got that. I need a new roll off, roll off sheet. I'll just use that. These are the roll off sheets. How are we doing for time? 40 minutes. Pretty good. Red. Do you want red lips? You know what? We can add those after. I just, um, let's see how it looks because I don't want it too busy. You know, I got the bear mask still coming. So we'll see. And I was thinking of doing the bear mask in um, black. Ooh, that just plooped. That, oh, yeah, I meant to put yellow down here and pink up there. Ugh. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Gonna get messy. We'll just do that. What the heck? We'll just do that. Switcheroo. Shh, don't tell anybody. Shh, it'll be our secret. It'll be our secret. No one has to know that I put it in the wrong spot. Because I wanted the pink to contrast, like to turn sort of orange with that yellow. Okay, and I've got my paper ready. All right, let's do this. And I hope I have enough paint on there after I did this smooshy. And there's a bit of a glob. Hmm. I don't think. I don't have enough. I'm going to just wait. I'm going to redo it in a second. And some of the paint was still wet. I didn't wait long. Well, I should have been long enough. Okay, take two. Thanks, Raul. Nice to see you. Raul, did you see my short? I took your, when we were brainstorming with Janet about the Pantone Blue co Deep Cobalt, I took your advice and I did the South American Poisonous Dart Frog as you suggested. So there it is. You can check out my short, Raul. Raul, do, Raul does a lot of shorts, if you guys want to check him out. He does a lot of um, sort of manga drawings. All right, so now I have to wait for that to dry. Otherwise, it's just going to start pulling up the underneath. So that happens, you know. Life happens. Uh, I'll keep that for like another thing, another day. All right, let's bring back our big plate. So we're going to put a pin in that one. We're going to still add that. Put that together. Let's work on our raccoon lady then while we're waiting. Chippy Kawaii, that's it. Chippy Kawaii, that's what Royal does. A lot of Chippy Kawaii characters. And was it this side? No, it was this. It was this area, right? So we're gonna add. We're gonna add to. We'll put her over here. All right, so this one I thought raccoons are kind of mischievous, you know, like they're kind of like characters. So I thought this lady kind of smirking would, oh no, I wrinkled her, would be good with the raccoon. And then let's get our foliage ready. How about some ivy, ivy stuff? We've got this stuff here we'll do on the bottom. Maybe some grass. Some 
kind of do like something like that. All right, let's do black. Sorry, I keep slipping out of frame there. Oh, and I didn't, you know what? I forgot to add my little removable dot so that I can put the raccoon mask where I want it. So I'm gonna put it under his eyes here. All right, so let's put that. I think like that. I think that should work. And then we're gonna put there and then the, we want this all filled up with botanicals. So like the bottom half, hopefully she won't be eating. She won't be eating the uh, foliage like the wolf was. You know, it's stuck on my finger now. Okay. What's the dot? The dot is the um, removable glue dot so that it keeps it in place so I don't have to like try to hold it with three arms. Ah! If um, you have a question that I'm missing, try to put it in caps and then I might have a better chance of seeing it. So we'll do that. Let's do couple things down here at the bottom. Put her down here and then we'll have to use a piece of paper. So I want to push her down so she doesn't get bubbles and then we need a piece of paper to do that. I'm not really putting it straight in my book. I'm putting on a piece of paper that I might add to my book. <laughs> I'm brave, but I'm not that brave. All right, let's see how she's looking. Remember, you don't want to leave it down too long. Oops. So she's pretty good. Just right here, I want to pick up a little bit more. And why is her nose like that? That's weird. I lost her mouth. That's really bizarre. don't know what happened there she looks kind of like a I don't know what we'll do is let's put some foliage <laughs> let's put some foliage on her because she's uh, she's not looking too good okay, there's enough paint there we're gonna really put her in the weeds at least her eyes are showing So that's a bit of a fail. Let me just um, do this. She's missing a nose and a mouth. Well, how did that happen? Her eyes came out great. Her eyes came out lovely. Let's just try to, there we go. So she's hiding, she's a shy raccoon. You know, you just can't get too upset when things don't work. It's, you know, it's just, we're just having fun here, people. Okay. And again, while that's, I'm going to take that off so that I don't forget to do that and throw it out by accident. Take off these little removable dotty dots. See, they just come off. And um, I'm just going to show Sharon. So these are the removable glue dots that we put on there. Okay, so it's quite wet here, so we're going to have to let that sit. So let's see if our other lady is ready. Shy raccoon. Put a butterfly where her mouth should be. That would be a good idea if I would have seen it. <laughs> that was a great idea, Lynn. I'll do that next time. I like that idea. Okay, so this paint should be dry. So we should be able to do a take two. I'm just gonna make sure there's no black left on this brayer. I'm gonna give it a little white actually. Oh, 
or flour. Yeah, that would have been good. I panicked. I panicked though. I panicked and I put the raccoon behind the weeds. It's all good. It's all good. I don't want black coming off on, on this. So I'm just giving this a wipe. Yes, I could add after. Pop, do a pop-up butterfly after she's in the journal. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, so I think I got the black off. And yeah, so let's do this. Take two. So we're doing yellow here and glowing peach there. And we're gonna pick it up with this. All right, I'm organized. I'm organized this time. Okay, so peach at the top, yellow at the bottom. Peach. Hey, Renee, good to see you. Okay, let's go for it and do the pink first and then we'll drag her down. Remember we're going to add the um, bear mask on this one, right? And then I'll just go up. I don't want any wrinkles in her face. So if you're talking to me, put it in caps so I can see it. That would be great. All right, so we're gonna let that sit. And let's see if our shy raccoon is ready. I think it's dry, it's hard to tell because my hands are so dirty. Just get my hands away. Yeah, Sharon, I found that paper at a thrift store and it's really smooth and nice. I'm going to be sad when I run out of it. Hi, Kathleen. Um, this bigger paper that I'm using is a Canson. This one here is a Canson XL. It's a little, it's a nice um, mixed media weight paper. Okay. Now, I didn't really think about what we're picking her up with. Now, black, raccoons are typically black. Do they have white? They're like white masks, right? Someone help me. I didn't research. I didn't uh, research my uh, raccoon. I'm going to pull you guys out a little bit. You can't quite see the whole desk there. All right. So... Should we, you know, I feel like throwing alcohol inks on here. Hey, Kberg. Black, the black masks have white and black, but where's the white? Is the white like around the eye? Oh no, it's black around the eyes, right? Oh my goodness. I think I'm just gonna, but if I do alcohol, if I do alcohol inks, it's gonna kind of smudge that. So I'm gonna ixnay that idea. Black masks, okay. So maybe I won't concentrate on coloring that. I'll just concentrate on doing um, something around it. So I'm gonna actually soften this line here and let's make sure his outline is viewable. There we go. So I'm feeling green on the bottom. Color with pencils. Yeah, you could do that.
maybe um, we could do a vertical ombre on this one. Like do like a color, a color, and then a color in the middle. What if we did like um, purple, like this um, blue violet flash on the edges, and then do kind of like an orangey color down the middle, like this shady orange. That might be okay. Green and peach, purple, light blue. All right, let's see what happens. I think um, I mentioned earlier that I got the inspiration to combine image transfers with botanicals from Diane Bell. And I think sometimes she colorizes it afterwards with uh, pan pastels. So we could always do that, but then you'd have to do like a fixative, I think, to um, so that it wouldn't rub off. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna, like Dee Dee says. Okay, I'm gonna leave her eyes just, they look pretty dark there, so I'm just gonna leave them. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use any makeup or pan pastel on this one. We're just gonna do a vertical ombre. Yes, Sharon, you guys are throwing out the rainbow, and apparently I'm not listening. I'm just doing, <laughs> I'm doing what I want. <laughs> Do it my own, my own thing. Okay, so we're gonna go. I want her face light, and we'll do the purple around. So I'm just gonna shimmy shake a little bit side to side. And we're picking her up on the other side of this one. So I'm gonna want to make sure her ears. I should. So I'm gonna just reach over the top of my eyeballs and I'm going to put a paper down because I don't want to mess up my wolf lady. Black and silver. Yeah, that would have been good. Ice blue in the center. That would have been cool. See, you guys can do all those combinations. There you go. Yeah, I think, um, well, the thing with black, though, is that I've already got black paint on there, so it wouldn't be enough contrast. So maybe, like, silver in the middle would have been cool. So we're going to let that sit and percolate. Let's pull our other lady, and then we'll put her, stamp her mask on top. Where did she go? Oh, here she is. All right, so she should be ready. Ooh, I like the yellow. I'm digging it. So there she is. So she looks good just like that. I mean, you could just leave her. I do like that. I'm having trouble getting, like, I guess I keep, I keep bringing you further and further. So she's kind of cool. You got her green eyes. Oh, it's a little bit blippy in these sides here. I'm just gonna wipe this paint so I don't smush it. Okay. So I like the the green eyes because the makeup is opaque. It doesn't muddy with the pink underneath. You do get the true green, and that's one of the reasons I like using the pan pastels. And then. The, but it's interesting because the pink, I guess because the makeup's maybe more translucent. It did turn a little bit orangey. Okay, yes, this paper is awesome. I think it feels like to me like it has some cotton in it. I don't know because it's just, like Sharon said, it's recycled paper. I'd like to know about the color color of books. I'm not sure what that means. 
I'm not sure what you mean by that, Sherry. Could you elaborate? Oh, so probably from what Lynn said. Have you tried doing transfers with adult coloring book images? No, I have not. I have not tried that. All right, so this is the one we're going to stamp the bear mask on. And a lot of you are going to say, oh, you wrecked it. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to lower her down. Didn't I? But I'm going to just add a little bit of this paint to the top here, just to, so we have something to, um, to add to. I'm just going to, just going to do that. And I'm going to let that dry a minute, but while it's drying, so I could do this two ways. I could put black here, smush this down, pick it up and then put it down where I want it. I think I want it like that. Or I could put black down, put this down, pick things up, like do a pickup, remove that. And then there'll be a black image left and then I could stamp it over. So those are the two ways I would think of doing this. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do the first way I said, where I'm going to pick up the stencil and smush it down. And then maybe the next one, if we have time, we can do it the other way and see the difference. Bye, Chris. Now, it's probably better if I have a little bit of... Uh, something underneath there to uh, give me a bit of cushion. Okay, so I'm actually going to do it this way. Oh gosh, where was I thinking? Like that, right? Okay. So I'll do that. I should smush it with something I could use after because, you know, Push it so the paint on the stencil should still be wet. If it's not wet, we can redo it. Ah. And hopefully, your hands are clean. I don't feel like I had enough paint on there. So not quite enough, so we can redo it. We can do it again. I'm just going to pick this up and then start over, do another one. The black that is around the eyes could act as a mask, then just leave white around that. Uh, are you talking about the raccoon, Kathy? Because if you are, you might be a little bit behind. All right, so. Let's do, let's keep it a little bit thicker this time. And also now that there's a layer of paint on there, it, that might help too. Cause when it's just the Yupo, see, I did it again. I put that face down bad. Uh, when it's just the, the plain Yupo, sometimes the paint sticks to the Yupo more than, than to the other side. So I'm just going to put, try to keep it thick and then hopefully I can replicate. That. Try to be quicker this time. Um, I could align the plate. I'm going to do that next time. I just wanted to do it this, this way first. Kathleen would scan it before she added the mask. Well, yeah. I mean, if I wasn't doing a live stream, maybe I could do that. So we're getting there. I think we could do it one more. We can maybe even do it. Let's do that. Let's take the paint and apply it this way. So this is the bare mask. So I'm just going to 
and put it right onto the mask and then we'll flip her over. Now, if you're using a stencil that you've already uh, used a few times and both sides are colorized, then you need to pay attention to which side it is that you're putting down because um, it might not match up. Did that move? I think so. So Don, yeah, I'm going to do that next time. I'm going to align it. Uh, I'm going to stamp it from the plate next time on the next one. I just wanted to try different ways. So there. So we got there eventually. You know, it was a little bit, a little bit of a, a long route, but it worked. And then we have some extra, oopsie, we have some extra bears, we bears. We have half a bear, we have a pole bear, we have a brown bear, <laughs> and I have a dirty table. And we can put that on there and do another pole. Let's do another half bear here. So you can use these extra pieces in collage. There we have two half bears. So and I could probably do you know, lots of bears. Oh, I still have lots of the uh, black paint on that. Okay, I'm taking off the extra paint. And then I still have uh, a lot of paint on here, so I'm going to just roll that off. And turn this over so I don't get a little seam on there. Whew. What is the brownish colored paper? That is, um, I believe it's like paper, masking paper you get at the hardware store in the painting section. So they would use it to mask off like baseboards or something. And it comes in a roll. Sorry, it comes in a roll like this, and it's quite thin, quite nice. So I'm going to cut off a piece to use for our next our next project because that one's pretty full. So I haven't used it in a long time, but like I said, I put a lot of stuff away because we we might be showing our house, we might be listing it. So. I had put a lot of my like paper bags and stuff. I had thrown some out and I had, um, yeah. All right, so there's our little bear lady. You could do is you could do like, you could use your paints and do like a glaze over top so that it's not so see-through. So we could use, um, or you could use, well, you couldn't use colored pencils on this because it's shiny. You'd probably have to put matte medium and then you could color it or you could use your um, pan pastels on that and then you'd have to fix it a bit. You could doodle the mask. Yeah, you could do like some Zen tangles in there. That would be really cool. So I might work on that off camera and maybe post um, what I end up, how I end up finishing that. I'll post that on my Instagram um, or maybe a short or a or perhaps um, I'll post it to makers, but you can see here where, why I put the purple there just to give like a little delineation so that you see it's more like a sunset behind her. And that was the stamp we used, the foam stamp to add the little textures. Hi, Lara, nice to see you. Okay, so what are we doing next? Are we pulling that other one? Let's pull it. And then we'll do our cat lady. I'll have to pull this one in a little bit. Uh, we'll do our cat lady and then I have a couple other fun little ideas we might try. All right, let's see, fingers crossed. This is, what did we do here? This was the raccoon, right, the raccoon lady. She's smizing with her eyes. Oh, that is stuck. 
she smiles with her eyes hiding behind some stuff because her mouth didn't work but her eyes worked really well and it looks orange on the camera but in in person it's more of a reddish orange like there it looks really yellowy orange um, I'm gonna see if I can rotate it so you can see maybe if I turn that light off you'll see the actual color it doesn't look pumpkin orange like it does there let's see I turn the light off no can't quite see the color okay let's do let's try our cat lady um this one i'll do the um using the stencil from the jelly plate as a stamp oh shoot Ugh. keep forgetting it this jelly plate so sticky all right so we're going to use our little gluey dots hi sherry so i want her eyes like that should put this light back on is that too bright and i'm just going to stick with black paint for for the transfer i just feel like it kind of works with these animal themes okay so we're going to do that Oh, I was going to do the transfer first, wasn't I? Oh, goodness. Let's take that off. We're going to add that after. I forgot. This is why I make little sticky notes. Because when you're streaming, sometimes it's hard to think. Have I ever used Posca pens on my gel plate? Yes, I have. I have done that, and um, it's fun. But you have, do have to spend some time cleaning it off. So we're going to do the botanical... Yes, so botanical with the, what should we use? Let me just move this over so we can work on our composition. So again, her, we're going to have to leave room for her ears up top, but it's within the paper. So that's good to know. And should we do just some of these like grasses? Um, I like these little guys. These are kind of fun. Maybe we do that. Remember, I'm going to have to reverse it. We'll just do some grass on the bottom. All right, so we're going to just do the image transfer with botanicals, and then we're going to stamp on the cat mask with my coffee. Let's move everything over here a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna stick with the black. Now she doesn't have a lot of contrast around the edges here, like this line. Oh, you can't see what I'm pointing at. The line of the square is gonna show, so we'll have to kind of fudge it a little bit. And yeah, this is the right spot. And we're gonna do that transfer directly on that tall paper. So with the transfer, you get the paint on and then you remove the excess by rolling off so that you have a thin layer. If you have too much paint on there, then you're not going to see the image because it's actually a resist technique. So here I'm starting to see through it. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to reverse it. These plants, try to reverse it. So I'm going to kind of go, ugh like that more or less it's not perfect and it's poking me in the stomach because I didn't cut the edges off that and I want her chin to be about there So I'm trying, I don't want a lot of bubbles on her. And like I said, she didn't have a lot of contrast. So I'm hoping 
This works. So I'm just pushing down again where maybe there's Oh, see, I took, I pushed down one too many times. So you can see it took off her eye. Her eye was better before I did that last little squidge. That's a technical term, squidge. So learn from my mistakes, people. Okay, so lift that off. Put that there, and then... There's any little smudges you can pick them up. So unfortunately, I pushed down one too many times and we lost a little bit of her eye there. So that's what I mean by you don't want paper down too long because it'll it'll pick up too much paint. And I'm doing these in black today, but you can use any color, like well, most colors. I've done like white and you get like a x-ray type of look. I've done I like using dioxin purple and a um, like a dark green. I tend to like the dark colors for transfers because to me your eye sees the image better. Hello Estella. Well thanks Sharon. All right, I'm trying to wash my hands here. So we're gonna let that dry. It um, This part's quite dry. So this was what I was talking about where the, the contrast between her and the background wasn't very great, but then there was this rectangle. So I'm just gonna kind of, I don't care if there's like some um, lettering or words, that doesn't bother me. Okay, so we're gonna let her dry. Do we have anything on the other plate? We have this little bear we should pull so that we can use that plate because that's what we're going to use to put the mask on that one. So let's use gold. Let's pick this guy up with gold. And I'm not going to do an ombre. I just want to get I just want to get this off here because I want to use this plate. So sometimes I wish I had, I think I mentioned that already. Wow, poor me, I only have a few plates. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I had more plates. So uh, pages of our journal, that is Christina, and that's actually Diane Bell's daughter. So uh, Christina, I don't know if you heard me talking about your mom, that she's the one that inspired me to combine the image transfers with the botanicals. And... Um, She's very awesome at it. You guys should check her out. She posts in Makers, uh, Diane Bell, but Christina has her YouTube channel, Pages of an Art Journal, and we were swap partners for the hashtag Makers Creative Collab last month, or this month, feels like a long time ago. Um, so if you want to check her out, she does awesome art journal pages. And I'm just going to put the gold right over, for your off on this one here. Yeah, let's pick it up on this paper. Oh, take a moment to breathe. You do a lot, you really, I try to pack in as much as I can. Um, so I like doing a combination of lives and videos that I can edit because I like, I typically is kind of like laid back. I like to kind of take my time when I do stuff. So it's easier to, uh, for me, it's easier to edit out all the spaces. Right. Yeah, I have to let that sit longer. Now we want to do this pull and then we want to stamp the cat mask and I wonder if that would even fit on my five by seven jelly frames. I don't... Again these masks are from PM Artist Studios. Yeah we can actually do it on that one. Um, these masks are from PM Artist Studios and check out their channel. They do lots of great live streams, lots of uh, very um, helpful information. 
Patricia was an art teacher, so she knows way more than I know. I just kind of go by feel. And there's my Brayer off bears. Brayer off bears. Must be bear bearstein bears. Anybody remember them? Okay. So we're gonna stamp the cat on her. Should we just pick her up in gold? Just do the whole thing gold because it's kind of like wheat and stuff and. I think the black over the gold would look really cool. Let's just do gold. And we're going to now, am I committing to this? Like I could right now I could still bail and just use each side. You know what? I might just do that. I might, I think I'm going to keep the back blank because I might be adding, I might cut these out and add them to my magical forest journal um, as like separate pages. So I need a new piece of paper. Just a second, I gotta cut out a piece of paper. I hope nobody's getting bored. Um, we're almost at the hour and a half mark. I don't like to stream much more than two hours. So um, we're gonna be starting to shut it down. Thanks, Dar, thanks for that link. Noisy. So that's my Canson XL mixed media paper. And I'm just going to rough cut it down. My scissors. Let's just do that. Just so it's a little bit more manageable. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so let's do gold and then we're gonna stamp the um we're gonna stamp the cat on there. I'm just trying to get some of that vegetative matter, although it'll just be sandwiched in the paint, so it could be uh incorporated for posterity. I could do like um ombre, like I think gold to um bronze would be or copper would be a cool ombre, but for the sake of time, I think I'm just going to do gold. I'm feeling, so I have too much paint on there. Let's see, it's doing that bubbly crackle texture. So when you're picking up, you kind of want a fairly thin layer. Someone asked me if uh, you have to pick up with translucent colors, and you do not. You can pick up with opaque colors. The um, main part is that it needs to be fairly thin so that you pick up all the layers. If it's a thicker layer, you might still pick up all the layers, but it will take a lot longer. You have to let it um, sit and dry, which I don't have enough plates to do that. So, uh, Avanel says you could scratch a spider web in the top of the grasses. Ooh, that's a cool idea. All right, I'm just gonna have a sip of coffee. So what are you guys all working on? Text and chat, any projects you're working on? I'll have a little sip. And so after the cat, so we'll have used each mask once. Um, and then I thought it might be fun to do like totally replace heads with the mask, like not even do the transfer of that part, like put that on where you probably wouldn't even see what's beneath. I think that might be kind of fun to do, turn Kim Kardashian into a, a cat. So we might try that if we have time. I had a few other, um, a few other ones uh, set aside. Like I thought this would be fun with the raccoon. Like I just like that trench coat. I just think with the raccoon, raccoon head, that would be funny. I don't know, just uh, we might do some silly ones or this lady here, I thought she'd be funny with like a, a different head. Um, the other thing when you're thinking about doing um, transfers is which 
you know, magazines you're using, because not all magazines in the same, in different countries are the same. So while Vogue works for me here, it might not work in another country, although I think Vogue would probably work. Um, so Lara says she's doing more design with wire work and thread stump work in thread stump work. Uh, Dawn is making a swatch book. Renee's getting ready for work. Have a good day at work, Renee. All right, let's see if that is ready. The gold is very light. It's gold, but it's not, um, it's not a super yellow gold. Oh, actually when I turn over, it looks more gold. So that's cool. Let me just put this aside and let's cut this down. Estella says her current project is starting a corporation. That sounds like a, a big project. All right. So let's stamp that cat. Where did I put him? All right. He's still on Kim Kardashian. So we're going to do that. We're going to put the black down, put the cat on, pick up, and then we're going to stamp them on there. Although I don't have this one on an acrylic plate. It would be better. Yeah, I'm going to use this other one because here I'm taking off that that bear. Oh, I like him. Look at that. Ooh, ah. Anyway, so I took him off my other plate, which is uh, eight by ten, and it's on acrylic block, so it's a lot easier to turn it over and place it. I'm still trying to find a block for that one. All right, so we'll do it on here. Okay. Uh, Christina says she has a new Stamperia paper uh, set Magical Force. Yeah, that's what I made my other journal with and you're going to make a page with it. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful paper. It's, um, yeah, it's very pretty. Okay, so I need my black paint. So I just need enough to do the cat. I don't need a whole 8x10 and I want it nice and juicy. I want lots of paint under there so that it stays wet. And it doesn't really matter, but I wanted to do it like that, right? So that's just a reminder to myself. So I'm going to turn it over, do that. Use this brown paper to pick up. Hey, Lady J. You made the fairy. Nice. You're watching from the cafe. As Mr. Bear braves the, I can't see because that stupid heart's in the way. Kathy Berg showed us, uh, or well, she described how to get rid of that heart that's in the corner of the chat. So you want to get most of the surround off. And then I've got, I don't want all that because I don't want to. So I'm just leaving that on there so that. Um, when I pull it up, it's still wet. Okay, so I gotta get that in place. I should have done that up higher so you guys could see. I have to make room for my plate. So I'm gonna take it off, I'm gonna turn it over, and we're gonna stamp it down. So this was the second way of doing um, transferring the mask. So I'm just eyeballing that. There we go. I don't know how to, it was something that um, Kathy Berg did um, to her stream. It's not something you can do as a viewer. It's something the streamer has to do when they're setting up or doing their stream. Um, but I don't know how to do it. So Eddie has been lurking, working on a book. Cool. So I can see, I'm going to just wipe, I have this little yellow paint here that stuck. Oh, someone's pressing the heart now. I see the hearts going up. Thank you. All right. So that's how that's going to look. Oh no. 
Oh no, we got the yellow on there. Let me get a fresh baby wipe. I didn't see it on there, but at least it's going to, um, it'll just blend in with the um, gold. No big, no big whoop. Ugh. Dawn says if you turn, if you're on your phone and you turn to landscape, it may go away. Oh, here, Kathy's explaining it to us. The streamer opens up, I can't read it because the heart, opens up the stream in YouTube, clicks on edit video just below the stream, go to customization, then untick live reaction. Ooh, thing is, I stream from my phone, so I'm not really, um, hmm, I don't know if I can do that. All right, there's our cat lady. She's a little hard to see, like the, the black mask is almost too strong um, for the image. So I would consider this more of a fail, um, but we could go back in with a Posca. And we could maybe highlight her eyes a little bit more. And here we can't really see her mouth. So eh, that one didn't really work the way I wanted. But see, I'm glad I didn't put it on the back side of that other one. So I think um, for controllability, maybe this method is better because you can make it as dark as you want. And also because you're just using the stencil, the lines are a little bit thinner versus when you're using the... Um, the leftover that's on here, it's probably a little bit thicker. So, so I, I think if you wanted to layer it, maybe this first method might work better. And like someone said, we could like um, do some Zen tangles in there to kind of like uh, make that more prominent. So eh, that's kind of a fail. Just looks like a cat in grass. Doesn't, you can't really see her behind there. Trial and error, but seeing uh, seeing some success, yeah. So, so let's do one more. Uh, let's take a vote. Do you want to try to do Kim? Um, Kim with the. Do you want to try to do Kim with a, a cat face, or do you want to try to do the trench coat with the raccoon? Let's vote. Bye, Anne. So this will be our last. This will be our last thing, and then I'll show you what we've done, and then we will sign off. Uh, I don't have a giveaway plan this week. I'm sorry. Um, it's just been so crazy. I don't even think I could. I don't even think I could uh, manage to um, mail anything. We're actually getting our kitchen counters redone, so that's a big. That's a big one. The red coat's not going to look red when I do it, though. I mean, we maybe could do it in purple. The contrast is a little less here. This is a little more, so this might work better. So we have Kim, one for Kim, one for raccoon, cat, Kim, raccoon, red coat, coat, Kim. Ooh, we're tied. Next one, next one. Oh, uh, oh, Paige of John didn't count yours. She said Kim. So we're gonna do the Kim. We'll do Kim. And I could do this one, maybe I'll do a short Instagram with the raccoon. All right, let's do Kimmer's. And I think because she's got a long dress on, we should use the big plates to get the full effect. Yeah, I think the ruffle dress will look cool. So we're gonna do Kim with the cat and we're gonna have it like on her. We wanna, I'm thinking her face isn't gonna show, but I'm okay with that. That's kind of what I want. Yeah, her body pose is pretty cool. So I'm gonna just do that. So this is that removable um, glue dots. I'm gonna use that just to so there, or should I put, you know, I'm gonna put it a little further down. do no neck no neck cat 
Yeah, I'm hoping the oversized head is going to look funny. So we could use, um, should we do purple? Because we've been doing black transfers. Let's do purple just for a change. I'm seeing my, this is my favorite one for the purple transfers is the Doxy Purple by Liquitex Basics. And I'm just going to roll off sheet ready. I'm going to keep that. I like that. I like that. So I'm going to rip that off so I don't roll over it. So there's our roll off sheet. Okay. Let's do this. There's a bit of gold left in there. That's okay. So we want it um, thin, but not too thin. That looks pretty good. It's a bit thicker on this side than the other, but that's whatever. We'll just go with it. And I want the ears in frame for sure. And I want to get that dress without bubbles. Tiny bubbles in the dress. It is a pretty purple. Make me happy. All right, let's see how that's going. Ooh, not too good. I think I had too much. It's working on this side. Kind of lost it over there. It's a little bubbly. Not my best work, but that's okay. There's her face, her cat head. So it kind of picked up too much of the paint around there. So not, not quite what I was hoping for, but let's just, I'm just going to We could be totally stupid and we could, I could add arms coming out like jazz hands. I'm going to do that. I'm sorry, you guys might think I'm crazy, but I'm going to just kind of gonna give her little cat paws. What the heck? I'm going to just do that. The fro kind of worked there, so that's kind of weird, but Laura, you're liking it before I added these little cat paws, right? <laughs> so it's very thick here, so we have to let that dry. So while that is drying, Yeah, I'll do a little pause and then maybe I'll collage like a little purse, like she's holding a little purse. We'll put that on the final, the final image. It was a cool shape till I added the little paws. <laughs> what did Eddie say? Looks like she's giving the peace sign on her right side. Okay, so that's very wet. So while that's drying, shall we review? Let's review our off prints first. So we have this gold bear, which I quite like. I think he's kind of cool. He's going in the garbage. We have um, these cats. We have these bears here. Um, we have these bears. Don't. We have this one that was uh, a fail, but we learned from it. We could, you know, I could cut out the cat head and use it on something else. And then I could, you know, uh, fussy tear the greenery and use that on something else. So you can, you know, even if it's a fail, you can still use it. Yeah, I thought that the ruffles would be more defined too. I probably should have used black, but 
Then we have this uh, bear mask lady, which I think I'll add like the Zen doodles in there, like someone recommended. And then we have the first one I think was the most successful actually, the wolf lady. And then we have um, our shy raccoon lady. Yeah, the wolf's my favorite too. I'm happy with how that turned out. I think these two are gonna go in my um, magic forest journal for sure. For sure. All right, so let's see. Um, so we'll use that to pick it up. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Bye, Lynn. I think I'm going to use that ice blue. I'll use this one, this um, ice blue metallic to pick up because I think it'll look cool with the purple. But I feel like maybe we need some fun background. Let's add a little bit of purple stampage around the background. So I'm just, let me move this over. And uh, yeah, so after this one, I'm going to, I'm going to go, but I'm going to add, this is sort of a fun pattern with the cat, I think. Just kind of add. It's kind of like a cheetah stamp pattern, isn't it? And then we'll give her like some sort of, um, I think I'll collage on a handbag of some sort. I'll post that to makers or to Instagram. Oh yeah, so follow me on all my socials. I'm Devin Rex for Art on Instagram and YouTube. I'm also Devin Rex Digital. Um, on Instagram for my digital art and which I haven't been doing much of lately and on Facebook I'm Yolande Alexander but I usually post um, more in the groups okay let's just do hi Lena the paws could hold flowers yeah I could put flowers on one side and then like a little handbag on the other side and then I could write words like you can, a cat can never have too many accessories or something like that. All right, so I'm just going to do the whole thing. This one color, I should wait. I'll have to wait for that to dry now. Lena, what are you working on before you leave? Are you, um, you did a good job with those um, Paul Rubens oil pastels, even though you weren't too happy with how they arrived packaged. So we're almost done, tail end of the stream. Lena's about to make dinner. So I'm just waiting for those, those little extra stampages I put on there to dry. So Lena's gonna be using those oil pastels this weekend. Lena, you usually stream on Fridays, don't you? I didn't see you on yesterday. Bye, Christina. Have a good day. We're almost done. You didn't, you haven't missed much. You're not going to miss much. I think while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to just add a little bit of this blue to his little kitty cat eyes. Just add like a little light blue. Although it might not show, maybe I should do a dark blue. Cause I'm picking up with the light blue. So this might be pointless, but anyhow, it's done. It's done, it's done. Okay, those are ready. 
Let's do this. So I'm just going to do one fill swoop of ice blue and then I'm planning to Ooh, that's too much. I'm planning to do some doodling and some collage on the final print. This paint is a little bit gloopy. It just, um, I think it got frozen in shipping, but um, there we go. Point of no return. Give it a good rub, rub, rub. So for those that came in late, I'm playing with these PM Artist Studio uh, masks, the four fanged furry forest faces and a fish. That is a mouthful. I haven't used the fish, but um, I am planning to do uh, undersea, underwater journal, and I will, I will use the fish in that, I think. Thanks, Sharon. Ooh, it's got a little bit. See, I got a little bit of paint skin, a little paint gloop on there. So you want to, if you get that, you want to wipe your brayer before it dries because you don't want that transferring to your next, the next time you add uh, paint. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just going to clean off my brayer. Hello, Rosemary. Good to see you. You missed some of our prints. I'll show them briefly in a second before we go. We're just pulling our last print. This is a silly, a silly one. So I hope I didn't miss saying hello to anybody. And I really appreciate everybody that came to my live stream. Uh, see, the face is a little bit thicker. So I might have to do that. Yeah. I might have to do that matte medium technique again if I want to pull it soon. See, it? there's his eyeball. I don't want to miss his eyeball. All right, let's do it. We'll just do this real quick. And then I'll show my the prints one more time. Ooh, that's way too much. Wait. Way too much. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. All right, so um, I'm just going to show Rosemary. These are the two ones that work the best. Go back and watch how we did this. That's another one we did. Uh, this one was a fail. But I'm happy with these, those three. So I have to let that dry. What can we talk about while this is drying? Still having my coffee. Thanks, Shaz. Yeah, you must be tired. I mean, it's probably almost 4 a.m. now. You better get to sleep, girl. Why don't you must be holding your eyelids open with toothpicks, Shaz? Let's 
see. No, not ready. When you put them at medium, it does take quite a bit longer to dry. Anybody have any requests to see anything while um, while that's drying? There's a little raccoon person I'm going to do later. 18.50, that's like 6, like almost 7 p.m. Is that correct? Oh, thanks, Becky. <laughs> You're sweet. You're a bit of a night owl. Yeah, but then you're at Dee Dee's at like early in the morning. I could use a fish to make a purse. Oh, that's a great idea. He's kind of big though. He'd be more of like a knapsack. Although cats really like fishes, right? It's a pretty big purse. Maybe I can find a smaller fish and make a make a handbag out of a small fish like a from the sticker book maybe or from that new cut and collage book that i just made a video about that's a great thought i just think it's too big for um too big for kim for kim kardashian's body oh dd comes on at 10 oh 10 30 p.m your time yeah she could hold the fish with her little her little paws well let's pull it and then we'll see how it looks. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Good enough. We still have a bit left there, but that's fine. Hi, Susan. All right, so there's our, now I'd probably outline her in black. This is gonna be more of like a fun, silly piece. So the fish, yeah, she actually, that would look really funny. <laughs> He's holding the fish. <laughs> oh, I love it. Actually, I want to put it on there right now. <laughs> or I could stand beside her. Yeah, I like it there, though. I do like that. I like her holding it. And then I could doodle like a dress on her. But what color? Um, I feel like we should make it like a rainbow color. Sorry, I know I said I was going to leave, but now I'm inspired to finish this. So I want something opaque to make the fish. And then we'll stamp it on there. Let me just move this away. So I said I was done, but apparently I lied. Apparently I lied. Let's do, uh, I want some opaque colors, like maybe this aqua green, this quinacridone magenta, although that's more of a semi-transparent. This orange is translucent, that's not gonna work. Well, I could do it in white and then I could color it. And maybe like a pink, a light pink. Sorry, I'm just looking at my paint. Here. Let's do, let's do like that. Okay. Shiny, happy fish holding hands. <laughs> Shiny, happy fish holding hands. Shiny. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's way too much. You know, it's time to stop your stream. Okay. I'm just going to put that over there. Hopefully you can use that for something. <laughs> when you start burping out paint, like it's going out of style. All right, and then we'll do pink face. This is way too much paint. And magenta body. All right, I want a rainbow. So it's gonna be, I'm gonna have it that way, so I want it this way on the plate. Ugh. 
Ooh, it's not uh, it's bigger, bigger than I thought. I have to go like that to get the whole thing. Burping paint. Are the marks supposed to be furry or angry? I don't know. That's a good question. That's a lot of paint there. We're getting those little circles. Okay. I'm hoping this is going to be um, opaque enough. We can always outline it in black Posca pen. Find him. Goldfish for Cardat. Oh, gold. That would have been good. Uh, the metallic green or teal. It's this one. It's the uh, metallic ice blue folk art. So we're just going to let that fish. a lot of paint. That's pretty good. Okay. So it's a little bit more translucent than I would have liked. But we could always do him a second time. Let me just outline him with black. Oh, that's maybe too thick. Eh, we'll go for it. We can find her a little bit. Can't see her paws anymore. I'll have to give her, I'll have to make a Your ruffles didn't translate, so we'll just make them. And then maybe I might add the black, um, I might stamp the face in black like we did with one of the others, but I can do that later. Let's give her some little Kardashian uh, cleavage there. And then we could put a quote like um, some a big fish or not sure big fish something and I'll paint that I'll paint that out like that. So 
So anyways, I'll add to that. We'll, uh, we'll post something on Makers. So I think that's it for today. I think that's all I'm going to do. Um, thanks again to everybody that came. And um, I really appreciate you guys coming to my live streams. Um, I'll post the finished cat. I think I'll add the black there. I'll post the finished cat later. There's a lot of fish in the sea. I like that. That's perfect. I'm going to, I'm going to put that there. Let me just, um, I'm going to use a different, uh, maybe I'll use like stamp letters or something, but I'm going to write that quote. Who said that? Who said that? I got to write down who said that. There's a lot of fish in the sea. That's perfect. I love it. Who said that? I got to write down. There's a lot of fish in the sea. Who wrote? I can't find it. And then I don't get chat. I never see chat for like a few days. So I want to write it down right now. Debbie. Debbie Walton. Hi, Debbie. I don't think I said hi to you. Thanks, Debbie. I like that. It's a perfect quote. Cool. So I'm going to write that. There's a lot of fish in the sea. And then we'll add some decoration, some bling, and some extra doodles. And yeah. And then Susan wrote, there's a, lots of fish. And why did I always get the old boot? <laughs> That's funny. But this is a Kardashian uh, cat. So she probably, you know, would have the fish. I'll probably add some like, you know, extra accessories to her torso. All right. So thanks a lot for coming. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. And um, I'll let you know when I plan my next live stream. I'm trying to do about one a month. And then I do videos in between that. So I really appreciate everybody's support. And um, I hope I didn't miss too many comments. Um, you know, just getting used to this whole live streaming thing. But anyways, thanks so much. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend. Thanks for coming.